Hey besties, so what I'm working on today is a window gable box. I sort of came up with this idea because somewhere around Christmas, um, I wanted to make sort of like a box for my kids' little elves, and I just couldn't figure out exactly how I wanted to go about this. So here we are after Christmas, but I still had the thought of, you know, basically what I can do to accomplish it. So I came up with this idea of um, basically doing a window box. I wanted to make it similar to how Build-A-Bear has the little little boxes for their bears that are see-through. You can see inside of them. That sort of led me to where I am now with um, this idea. So I created this template to show you guys basically how to do this. If you do not have a gable box already, uh, I will list mine on Etsy. If you do have one, all you have to do is a window slice out of the middle depending on how big you want yours. Because I am using my Cricut, I am going to use a measurement of 8.5 by 6.75. I did figure out how to do a bigger box in Cricut, but I will show you that on another video because it will make this one entirely too long. So I will go ahead and get started with my design. The first thing that I'm going to do is enter in my template. So here, I've already put in the lines here that you're going to use for your score lines. So I'm going to go ahead and make this 8.5 and then I will adjust to 6.75. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I will start to enter in my score lines. I'm going to zoom in a little closer so you guys can see these score lines. One of the members of my Facebook group sent me a message the other day and told me about this really cool trick that I literally had no idea about. So I will show you basically what she showed me. And I mean, I use score lines so often, but I just never thought to use it here. So. I want to make one this length right here so all I do is go here to rotate 90 degrees and boom you have your score line and you don't have to worry about it being crooked which I thought was really awesome okay so then I will just drag this out and then I'll duplicate it once more and now I have the score lines that I need I'm gonna hide this for a quick moment and then I will select this and attach it together so that's pretty much um, all that I need for my score lines. You can keep them there, you can hide them, whatever you wanna do at this point. So now I'm going to go here to my control panel. I'm gonna to go to patterns and I'm gonna choose my Paw Patrol scene right here. I am gonna to have to end up editing it slightly. So I'm gonna go here to edit. And I think my last one was like 107. So I will just adjust that out a tiny bit. don't think I'm gonna use that so I am going to end up putting his picture here on the shield and then I will add in his name going to go here to filters I'm going to go to free and red and I'm going to choose this one right here I will edit and I will change it to the 400 scale I'm just going to fit this within the bone and then I'm just going to curve slightly so now what I'm going to do is enter text once more
So now that I have everything in place that I'm going to use, I will go ahead and select all of this together and flatten it. Okay, so now I'm going to add in my score lines again and I will move it to the back just so you can see it. You just want to make sure that nothing is going below that score line because that's going to be the bottom of the box. On top, it's completely fine. If you even put any, something up here, it's completely fine. You will be able to see everything here. So I'm going to attach this together. And then I will go ahead and print. I'm going to send to printer. Advanced options. Now I always go to advanced options mainly because it helps me remember whether or not I need to change my paper settings or not. And I'll do the same thing for this page. I'm going to go to popular for my materials, go to medium cardstock. I am going to edit my tools because I don't have a scoring uh, wheel. Okay, so I have my two printouts right here. I am now going to use my score tape and I will apply it where it needs to be. I'm just going to reinforce my score lines. I'm going to take my tape runner and I'm going to just apply some around the pups and around the window. All I'm using is these Dollar Tree um, loot bags and you get 25 to a package. And then once I place my tape around the window, I just cut off a small piece and I place it right here. off the excess and then I still have enough for one more so you can honestly get like maybe six or seven boxes done you can also use like acetate and um, those type of things which I'm gonna do for a sample but you know for your actual clients you can uh, use something like that
So here is the end result. You'll see the back side right here. So a picture of him will go on this side. I used this double-sided tape, which is permanent. It's, it's really good, really strong. This I used for just to cling around the uh, window. This I used, which is just loot bags. They're 25 for $1 at the Dollar Tree, just like in the party section. I thought I still had the wrapper, but I don't. Um, so yeah, honestly, you can go crazy with these. This is the one that I did that was bigger. I did cut it with my Cricut, as you can see here. Um, and all I did was put a, um, just a actual printing cut right here on the side of it. So it looks, you know, somewhat the same. Um, I will show that in another video just because it is a little bit more time consuming and it also, you need two softwares to do it. So, um, I just wanted to basically be able to go over that thoroughly. Um, so I didn't want to rush through that and then everybody asked how I did it. So this is just a sample of what it looks like. So here you'll see the size comparison, which is significantly larger. Those of you that have, you know, different cutters, uh, like Silhouette or Brother Scan and Cut, you can um, do these probably with no, no issue, even larger if you have a wide format printer. Um, but since I don't have a Silhouette or Brother Scan and Cut, I found a way to do these. I'm not sure about anything else because I haven't tested it out, but I will show you guys on another video how I cut it with this, how I cut with my Cricut um, at this size, okay? I did use an X-Acto knife as well on this one. I mean, it's not perfect, but if you put, you know, little, the little Paw Patrol thing right here on the end and you put, you know, a name right there across the top, you really wouldn't be able to tell that it's not completely straight. So an X-Acto knife is also an option if you wanted to do this in Publisher or Photoshop or any of those other software. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know down below in the comments. I thank you as always for watching and I'll see you on the next video.